I'm going to show you what we can do with Gourmet's beautifully versatile handcrafted products in no time at all with the most amazing flavors. Let me show you. Another beautiful sauce is the Arabiata sauce. It's great, it's got a kick of chili into it, which is great for now and for winter. Um, beautiful to use when cooking fish, whole fish, salmon fillets, beautiful with that. And also what I'm gonna do is actually take our conveniently ready prepared, ready to eat, heat and eat roasted veg, full of fiber, full of goodness, all together. Over here, I'm gonna show you how to make a really nice vegan dish with vegan lentil koftas, which is a great option. Another way to use our beautiful pasta sauces is by making a vegan meal. And for this meal, I'm going to use roasted veg that I've bought from the shops like this, from Gourmet Egypt. We prepare it, we roast it, it's ready to go. Just pop it in the oven, just like that. Um, we're going to top that with vegan koftas, which is delicious. We've made them with lentils and carrots, tomato paste, they're full of goodness and they taste divine. And then I'm going to use our Gourmet Egypt pasta sauce Arabiata, which has a little bit of chili in it and has a bit of a punch, but not too much. The first thing we're going to do with this lovely dish is take a oven proof dish over here and then take the roasted vegetables, these ones, lovely, beetroot, carrots, red onions and pumpkin, roasted with herbs, with olive oil, beautiful. I love them, I really do. I also designed them last year when I was here. So. Next, to take the vegan koftas, which smell great. And I'm just going to dot them in between the roasted veg, like this. Next step, to use this beautiful arabiata sauce, full of flavor, garlic, beautiful, I love it. Garlic, bring on the garlic. And just pour that over. Again, it's vegan and I'm very proud that we have these sauces that are so full of flavor without using butter, without using cream. So it's safe for vegans and safe for flavor. Shake it in between to make sure. And add a little bit more. And simply sprinkle some fresh rosemary on top. So that's all we need to do for the preparation process. And I'm gonna put it in the oven for 15, 20 minutes just to warm it up and make sure that all the veg really sucks up the good tomato juice. And that's it, one of the nicest vegan meals in almost no time. That is pure goodness, pure vegan goodness. I think you're gonna to struggle to find something more delicious than that. And now let's taste some. Wow, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. It's vegan, but I can tell you something, this will satisfy even the strongest and happiest meat eater, that's for sure. Well, I'm gonna go and sit down and enjoy this by myself now. Thank you.